Nightleaf TV presents! Hello, this is Nightleaf, and now for your gaming news. The Legends of Zelda Skyward Sword comes out Friday, which is the 18th. Um, apparently, in Glasgow, you can. Uh, there, the first hundred people that turn up dressed as Link are going to get the game for free. I thought that was so awesome. Um, fair play to Game, who's uh, holding it. Apparently, it's also Game Station as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're owned by the same company. Um, I don't know, but yeah, dress as Link and go to uh, Game Station or Game in Glasgow and get your free copy if you're the first hundred. Fair play. And big update for Magicka is about to hit the for the actual game engine. Um, in anticipation for their uh, new expansion, I suppose uh, called the Stars Are Left. The Stars Are Left. Um, and yeah, so they're going to do that. The actual expansion is going to be Lovecraft themed. Um, anyone who's read any HP Lovecraft, you will probably enjoy this. Um, I will link you to the video below for the video trailer. I don't know. Sometimes I never know how to describe these uh, videos that they release because they're not fully trailerized, but they also are sort of like a mix between teaser trailer and normal trailer. So, and advertisement. So it's like three mold. This toy is amazing, but I never know what to call them. So yeah, I'll link you to that below. Um, also, update your Magicka if you get the chance, because it will actually. Um, there's some stuff like you're gonna be able to say uh, have checkpoints in the game. You're gonna have like if you're playing solo, uh, there's gonna be a fairy or something to revive you um, in the campaign mode. You know, other things like that. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, check it out. Frogs has released a video sh showcasing Terra's true action combat. What that really entails, I don't know. But what I am going to do is show you the video so you can make up your own mind. Here you go. Assassin's Creed Revelations was released yesterday. They're also going to release the PC version on December the 2nd, 2011. It's going to cost £3.19 or 320 Microsoft points. I don't know. Whatever that's worth it, to be honest. A character pack. What characters does it have in it? I don't know. They'll probably release that soon. It seems like it's all coming out, but why is PC version got to wait for so much longer? Why can't they do them all at once? Why can't they actually put time into the PC version? And why do they focus on everything else and then just release PC version later? Some new tiles are available for download on the Nintendo 3DS, including 3D Classics Kirby Adventure, Bugs and Balls, and Jam City Roller Girls. Sounds good, I suppose. I am a big fan of Kirby. I used to play it ages and ages ago, and I haven't really played much Kirby, so it's tempting to buy 3DS, although I am skint, so that ain't really gonna happen, is it? Cyborg has announced that it's releasing a new MMO gaming mouse. I will show you a picture here. Somewhere. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, maybe if we're comparing it to other MMO gaming mouses, like the Razer Naga, um, I'd say it's not got as many buttons, so is that going to be a thing? I mean, like MMOs, normally you need a lot of buttons. That's like half the point of playing the game. So is it going to be enough? Um, I don't know. It seems like a good hybrid mouse if you're going to look for that. And if you do like Mad Cat's normal stuff, then you're going to be interested. So um, I'll be leave a link below so you can um, go and check it out. And that was your gaming news. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you again soon.